everyone, it's Sam here and today I'm going to be unboxing and having a look inside Papercraft Society Kit 55 and this one's been designed by Pretty Gets Gritty. If you're new to the Papercraft Society, these are a monthly paper crafting kit, card making kit. You can take out all different subscriptions and all of that will be linked in the description box below and you can also get open stock as well if they're still available once the subscribers have got them. The packaging and the outside of the box is always an indication on the theme and the colour palette. So this one you've got the lovely silver foiling and that kind of bubble effect. Inside it says, in crafting there are no mistakes, it's your own perfectly imperfect creation. And that's from Lynette, who is the designer of Pretty Gets Gritty. So as always, we will look inside the envelope first and then we'll look inside the tissue paper. So you get your three pockets in your envelope. This one here, we have dies, stencils, some paper bits to cut out and some other bits there. So I'm going to take all the plastic off first of all. So first we'll look at the dies here. So we've got these different mats and layers. This one here on this middle one, it doesn't have a cut line here. So it will allow you to open it on the card that you've cut it into. It actually looks like the Victorian doors that I have in my house. It's got that door window kind of look to it so it'd be interesting to see how they're used and then you've got these floral dies here which i'm wondering whether they no, those are already pre-cut so we'll have a look there is a booklet inside and it tells you all the contents in the box and lots of inspiration these are really pretty so you've got loads of little pre-cut flowers i tend to pop all mine out and then i'll put them in a little jar or a little bag and then leave them in here they're really nice and they pop out really easily so you've got two sheets there so you've got plenty and then you've got your stencil which has your brick design there you can see it better on my mat so you've got your brick design and then you've got this script pretty gets gritty is all about mixed media and building layers and lots of texture so again i'm intrigued to see how this has all been thought out and you know where they're going with this and then you've got these like 1950s inspired images. So you've got two of that style, two of this style. You've got two of your sentiments and those images and they're all pre-cut for you. They all pop out really easily. So these you can color in, you can add your inks to them. I love the, the ladies. I, I kind of sometimes wish that we still dress like this. Like, not that I don't, I love my jeans and jumpers, but I don't know, there's just something just elegant, gorgeous. Anyway, <laughs> completely digressing. So that's everything inside of the envelope. So let's have a look inside the tissue. Okay, so we've got a little bottle there to put medium liquid in. We've got some white gesso. We've got two small little inks. I wonder if they're different to the ones because I've, I've got some smaller ones before in a past kit, but I can't remember the colours. And you've got your little stamens there as well, which you can ink and make any colour you want. So straight away on the front there, you can see some inspiration. So it is, it's a door. You can see that bit that's opening out. You've got the picture of the lady. Life is short. Break the rules. And you can see all the built up with all the flowers. Okay, and then on the very first page, Lynette like I said, who's designed this box. Here is a completely crazy off the page project and it is a altered boot. And you can see the dies, the door die is on the side there. All the flowers have been built up. I guess it's all been inked and dyed with the little ink here because one of them is blue. I hold up to like, yeah, you've got a blue and like a pinky color. And then you can even see, so I've got my hand across here because there's a download website and I've, that's only for subscribers and people that buy the box. You can see the brickwork that's using the gesso and probably a media paste there. There's a lot of detail in that. So again, if you're into your mixed media, then that, I think that's a pretty <laughs> crazy and awesome project that you can follow there. So there's that card again that was on the front. So Lynette gives you an in-depth step-by-step there on how to create that card. You've got step by step there on how Lynette achieved that altered boot. And then here's a couple more fun ideas. I don't want to show everything. I always like to keep that a bit of a surprise for anybody that does decide to get the box. These have both been designed by Jane and she's done this card here. So again, you can see that brickwork stencil and then the door and then there are all those pre-cut flowers. Open the door and embrace new opportunities. And then this one here, wonderful friend. You've got a couple of the ladies there. And again, she's built up that background. I imagine there's a lot of texture because you can see all the layers and it's all been like ripped and distressed on the sides there. 
And I'll just show this one on the back because I think it's really nice. This looks like an altered uh, book or maybe a canvas. There's lots of like rice paper or tissue paper. Again, the brickwork. I really like that brick stencil. I think it looks lovely. And I love the door. And then again, all of those flowers. So it looks like these have all been die cut out of some hessian or maybe some cheesecloth. And then you've got the car and the flowers there. So that is everything inside the Papercraft Society Kit 55. I will have all the links below. So there'll be a link to this box if it's open for individual purchase. That will be there. And also to the Papercraft Society. And if you check out the playlist coming up here, you'll see all of my unboxings of the Papercraft Society. So you can get a nice idea on the variety and just how the boxes vary from month to month. Because like I said at the start, there are all different subscriptions and you can pause your subscription. So you might see a box that you're not really into. It's not really your style. You can pause your subscription and then you can always reactivate it when the next box comes out. So thank you for watching today and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.